Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and today I have my Alex Adores for the month of July. We're already in August you guys, summer is almost over and I, I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready for fall. Like I'm ready for pumpkin everything, pumpkin candles, pumpkin body washes and everything like that. So I'm in the mood for fall, but I do want to share with you what I was loving in the month of July for the summer. So it's not a lot going on. So I'm just going to jump right in and share with you the products that I was loving in July. So the first thing I want to share with you is this nail polish. This is from Essie and this is Essie's Sunset Sneaks color. This is a beautiful, I have it on my nails right now. It's like a vibrant, uh, like a coral pinky uh, peach color it's beautiful look at that it's just so so pretty it's very very summer very loud very bold but it's not like a neon color either I think it complements my skin tone really really well and again it's from Essie and it's from their summer line so um, check your local drugstores for it again it's the color sunset sneaks and there's a number on here so I'll just say it it's 1126 if you need that number reference but it's a really 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 beautiful color um, by two coats of this it's gonna get really opaque so it's kind of sheer but not too sheer after the first coat but the second coat makes it really opaque and it's just a beautiful beautiful finish um, it doesn't streak or anything like that and Essie's always good with their nail polishes so no problems there next up is something that I've been using for a long time and I'm like I don't know why I've never or to my remembrance ever used it or mentioned it as something that would be you know in my Alex Adores and it is from MAC. This is their Prep and Prime highlighter pens and this one is in the color peach luster um, I'm gonna open it right now you guys can see it's been used I've used it a couple times in a couple tutorials and what I like about this is it's basically not so much a highlighter but a corrector for women of color so it really really cancels out any darkness or discoloration um, around the mouth that you might have or any of my scarring that I have I usually love to use this on my scarring um, for my acne scars so this works really really well in helping me not to use so much foundation foundation or so much um, concealer so it really helps you to minimize the amount of product you use on your face to give you a more natural finish to the skin next up I have a brow product and this one is basically in my opinion a dupe for the Anastasia brow is this is the NYX micro brow pencil crayon I have it in the color espresso and it's legit just like the um, the Anastasia from Beverly Hills pencils. Same little spoolie on the end, same um, same spoolie on the end, and it still has the twist up pencil at the top. Very nice pencil. The only difference I can see between the two of them is that the NYX pencil is a little bit on the drier side. It's not as waxy as the Anastasia from Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. So if you don't like that waxy feeling that the Brow Wiz gives you, I would say go ahead and grab the uh, NYX Micro Brow Pencil. It's actually a better buy for your buck. It's not as expensive. It's nowhere near $20 for this pencil. So I think it is a great find. I used it on my brows today and my brows love it it's, even though it's a dry formula it actually stays in place so I really really like that about the NYX micro brow pencil now to beat this gorgeous face I have two brushes that I was loving for the month of July and the first one is from crown brushes this is their C436 everything that I talk about I'm gonna put it down in the description bar so you guys can go ahead and check it out this is their C436 mini duo fiber blender brush do you see this awesomeness? This reminds me of the MAC 187 and I think it's the MAC 130 that looks like this, the dual fiber brushes, but this is on the more, um, the smaller side. I love this for my whole face. Like if I really want to get in there and I have some time to really, really buff my foundation into my skin using this dual fiber brush, I would use this. I love this with my Lancome Tint Eye Doll Foundation. So anything that has a little bit more of a thicker consistency, oh, your skin is gonna look amazing using this brush and it's perfectly inexpensive because it's crown brush, you guys, come on. Their brushes usually range from what, almost $3, $2, $4. You know, I don't remember how much I paid for this because I got this from the Premier Show Orlando, but I know it was really cheap. But it's a really, really nice brush. It didn't have any shedding issues. It's really, really soft and it cleans like a breeze, you guys. The next brush that I have to share with you is for my highlighting, darlings, yes. This is the Sigma Tapered Highlighter. This is their F35 brush. You need this. 
This is one of those Sigma brushes that you totally need. It's a little dirty because I used it today to put on this gorgeous highlight, darling. Yes. And this is an amazing brush. It's really, really soft and it distributes your highlighter evenly. Like, even though it's tapered at the ends, it gets in here and really allows you to place your highlighter so awesomely. And even for your cupid's bow, it fits. For your little nose highlight, it goes in. Chin, everywhere that you need to highlight, this brush is going to basically buff that highlighter into your skin and you will be snatched all day. Yes, love this brush, you need it. Again, this is the Sigma F35. This is their tapered highlighter brush. Now, for the lashness that's going on, I. This lash company I was sleeping on for a long time because I was all about my Ardell Wispies. I still love them, they still are my favorite brand of lashes, but these lashes, they've been talked about so much, especially on Instagram, and you guys probably already know what I'm talking about. These are the Coco brand of lashes, okay? And the two that I've been enjoying, the one that I have on right now is Goddess. These are, let me say this, these lashes have to be trained. Let me say that first of all, because they're so, they're a little stiff, but once you've worn them at least once or worked them in a way that, you know, you can manipulate the lash a little bit, they're a dream to wear and they look amazing, you guys. I love these lashes. They're not heavy at all. Once you, you apply them properly and don't like, because the band is a little bit thick, just apply them properly and they will wear beautifully all day. Love these. Again, I love the Goddess one. This is the one I'm wearing now. And I love the one called Foxy. Woo! <laughs> this is Foxy. I'm holding it upside down. I'm so weird. This is Foxy. As you can see, Foxy's really foxy, really fluffy and really out there. I'll totally do a close-up so you guys can see Foxy a little bit better. If you don't own a pair of the Cocoa Lashes, do get your hands on at least Goddess or Foxy. They have a ton of lashes, but these two are my top favorites from them. Um, they did release, I think, two new ones that I cannot wait to get my hands on and try, but I love these lashes. They just give you that pow in your eyes. Oh, so beautiful. I love these lashes. You need to do some Cocoa Lashes if you don't have them already. Moving on to hair stuff. Um, for the summer, my hair has been behaving, but I was trying a couple of new deep conditioners and conditioners on my hair and the first one I want to talk about is from Dr. Miracles this is their cleanse and condition deep conditioner now it's a small bottle even though it's a small bottle it packs a punch like I use for my hair one wash I have to the bottle like right there I have to the bottle okay even though the ball is small, I do wish they put this in jar form, like that's my only pet peeve. But other than that, this is an amazing deep conditioner. The tingle that I get from this, my hair loves that lifted and refreshed feeling. And once I rinse it out of my hair, my hair is uber soft. This is a great deep conditioner. It has jojoba oil, vitamins, I believe A and E, and it doesn't smell bad. Like it gives you like that eucalyptus type of opening of the nose senses when you smell it, but it's a really, really great deep conditioner. My hair loves it, my follicles love it, and I think this is a deep conditioner that everyone needs to have. Now the next conditioner that I was like totally obsessed with for the summer is the Jardin Silken and Soften Conditioner. This one is from Hair Veda, as you can see, I am basically done with it. Um, what I love about this one is it has green tea in it and it's like an apple cider vinegar rinse, I believe. Like, no, it's like an apple cider vinegar smoothie. So it's basically going to go ahead and soften your hair. Essentially, that's what it's going to do. And that's exactly what it did. Um, when I use this, I find that my hair, it seems to be more like, I wouldn't say silky, but it seems a little bit toned or a little bit deeper in terms of color and I think it's probably the neem or the hemp that's in this conditioner smoothie and it smells amazing oh it's nice and like it smells like a smoothie but you can smell the green tea coming out of here too so it's really refreshing but it actually makes my hair super duper soft so if you're looking for a conditioner that's you know with natural ingredients doesn't have any parabens and things like that um that's silicone and glycerin free then i think the hair veda jardin silken and softening conditioner um that has green tea and is an apple cider vinegar smoothie oh that's so much to say uh, is going to be the best bet for your hair and the last thing that I want to talk about that I was adoring for the month of July is the Organics. This is their Argan Oil of Morocco Creamy Hair Butter. 
Organics has been a brand that I have slowly been discovering and touching their products and playing with their products a little bit. Um, but this hair butter, this can be used as a leave-in or a rinse out. And what I've been doing is using it as a leave-in. It smells divine, you guys. It smells so, so good. This is what it looks like on the inside. Really um, thick formula, as you can see, it doesn't just fall out. Um, it's really, really creamy, and I find that my hair likes this in the mornings more so as a leave-in on dry hair. So it does a really good job of helping to hydrate my hair, and also with the argan oil repair my hair if you know there's any damage or anything like that. Um, I did get a haircut for the month of July, so I can't wait to start styling my hair and doing things like that. Not like a big haircut, you guys. Relax. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. Like my hair is like. It's still long, it's not as long, it's like here, now. Like, yeah, I got a haircut. I can't wait to take my hair down and show you guys what it looks like. Um, and styling it and stuff, but yeah, this right here, again, this is the Creamy Hair Butter Leave-In or Rinse Out from Organics. This is their Argan Oil of Morocco Hair Butter. So if you're looking for a new butter or some, some type of leave-in for your hair that's gonna make your hair really hydrated and feel good during out the, you know, throughout the day without having any like heavy creams or anything like that, then this is gonna be perfect for you. All right, you guys, so that is it for my Alex Adores for the month of July. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed or if you have any of the products that I talked about, let me know down in the comment section how they're working for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't said that already. Share this with your family and friends and I will talk to you guys in another video really, really soon. Bye!